here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with yet another winner of the semifinal round, Muhammad Usman, now headed to the live season finale of the Ultimate Fighter Season 30. Muhammad, how are you feeling? Hey, Charlie, I'm feeling good. Uh, I got I got the, uh, you know, the next phase of the mission done. Uh, it was a tough one, but I got it done, and uh, I'm ready for the finale. Yeah, I bet you are. Uh, your whole family seems like they are ready to see you just completely dominate. Uh, I have a couple questions as far as your family goes. First off, not many people get visitors in the tough house, but a special exception being made because, of course, I mean, come on. Your brother's Kamara Usman. You're not going to not let him in the house, right? Everybody was probably so stoked to see him. What was it like? having him come over, getting to see him in the midst of the competition and really having him as an additional hype man along the way. Oh yeah. It was a, uh, it was really a blessing. And, uh, and I, and I told Juliana, thank you because I mean, I understand my brother was on the ultimate fighter show and it only made sense for her, but it was extra a little special to me. And I know she did it because she wanted to show me that, uh, you know, I'm right there. And, uh, this is just, it just gave me that extra push that I needed. Yeah. He gave you what seemed like a lot of, different pieces of advice when he came to visit you what would you say was the most important thing that he said that really set you up for success going into your fight the most important thing he just told me going into this fight is you work so hard to be here mo you know and uh people people can never take credit take away your work that's one thing i've learned about this sport is the work that i put in it'll show you know nobody can take away the work that i put in personally in my soul People can say whatever they want. They can look outside looking in. But he just reassured me that you put the work in, not just go out there, stay focused, and just execute your game plan. And uh, once he told me that, I just just reassures me that I have put all the work in. Because at the end of the day, you know, you go into a fight. A lot of people go into fights thinking, did I put enough work in? Did I do this? Did I do that? He just reassured me that I have put enough work in, and I deserve to be here, and I deserve to go get it done. Yeah, it seems like hard work is something that really runs through your entire family. I mean, judging by the FaceTime call with your parents, uh, it uh, seems like they have really sacrificed everything for you and your brother so that you both can be successful. What was it like being able to FaceTime with them and, you know, spend some time speaking with them before your fight? Because I, I it's very obvious how special they are to you. Um, uh, it was it was emotional because you know our parents are like I feel like my brother you know he's he's a little bit more composed to me but our parents are everything to us you know everything we want to do we want to just make them so proud because it's our last name it's our our legacy where we're from like it's very important just growing up I know we would never come home and get bad news it's, I won or I did this or I'm the best at this or I'm this that's all that's all they want to hear. And uh, so we just always just strive to just do good and be the best in anything we do for our parents because they're a reflection of us and we're a reflection of them. We parents do So uh, it just gets me very emotional, like especially with my mom and my dad because, of course, there's from the culture that we have for our parents. Two seconds of them being on the phone, I'm already getting teary out like I'm five years old, you know, uh -huh. because it's just, it's just the energy that you get your parents it's the energy that they just demand excellence you know they, they just demand us to just be the best we can be because we know where we're from we know how hard it was to get here to be in this position now and uh they just demand us to always bring our best in everything we do well i loved what your father said he said you know why you're there you're there to win because listen parents you know i have supportive parents as well but it is it's like he will not allow failure to be an option for you or your brother. And I love that. I love how supportive it's like the next level, um, which is so important uh, because it, it seemed like it served you well. You know, you took all of that advice from your brother. You took all the encouraging words from your parents and you channeled it into a very successful fight. How did you feel stepping into the octagon for the semifinal matchup? Did you feel like you had it in the bag or what were your emotions at that point in time? My emotions were uh, after the fight, uh, I was my emotions was it was a very tough fight, but I knew I pulled it through. And you know, and I mean, this sport is kind of crazy because you never know how judges score fights or anything. But in my mind, like in uh, just being in a in an octagon and having 
good fight IQ, you almost leave, it's almost like you have a clock in your mind to know what you need to do. So if I, it's like, okay, I need to pick it up, boom, I got to pick it up. If I need more, if I need to show more, I got to show more. And uh, Eduardo, uh, I got all the respect for him. He's a, he was a hell of a fighter. He's a hell of a man. He's a, I respect him as a man, as a person, as a fighter. And, uh, and yeah, he gave me a great test. And, and, and I really appreciate that because those tall guys that can strike are really tough guys. And you have to really kind of push yourself to be better, you know, in, in everything you do. So I'm glad that uh, I stuck with my game plan uh, and, uh, and I pulled it through. Is there anything looking back on that fight? I'm sure you've watched it at least once or twice. Is there anything that you feel like you wish you, I mean, listen, a victory is a victory. So however you get there and, and you did very well, but is there anything you look back on and say, I wish I would have done this differently or done this better? Or are you really happy even reflecting on it with your performance? Uh, we're just reflecting on it. I'm, I'm actually, at the end of the day, we can sit up here and critique ourselves all day. But, I, you know, the number one thing is I went in there and I got the win. And that's all, and, 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 and that's all I take from that fight. I, I look at all the little things that I didn't do good, and I'm like, I know I could do those better. But in the moment, in the moment in that fight, I got it done. And uh, that's all I, I, that's really where my focus is on. I don't really try to focus no more on the negative. Uh, you know, anything, anything negative in that fight, I kind of just dropped it and let it go. Because at the end of the day, I won the fight. And that's all it comes down to, winning fights. And I won that fight, and I put it in my, in, in my you know, in my memory bank. And uh, now all I'm doing is focused on, on the next fight. Mo, that is such a great mindset to have. And I think that that's going to help you now, later, whenever in your career. Because I think when the negative starts to creep in and you start nitpicking at yourself, and, you know, it, exactly. it no matter even if you're aware of it, it does start to tear away at your confidence. So I love that you have this mindset. I think that is so healthy, going to lead you to a lot of success. And you have a big task ahead of you now, right? Live yeah. finale of The Ultimate Fighter coming up. What is your mindset now? What are you doing to prepare best uh, for that huge moment that is coming your way very soon. I'm training very hard for my coaches. Uh, I'm just staying focused, staying composed, and really just still just, I'm just in the moment. I'm not thinking too much ahead. I'm not thinking anything negative. I'm just staying in the moment, thinking exactly what I'm going to do in the fight and just uh, visualizing being in that fight, getting my hand raised, and, and just staying focused. Everything else that could possibly happen in the fight, it'll happen. But if I do everything now, to be prepare myself and just get in there and do everything on autopilot, I'll get the job done. Awesome. Well, I cannot wait for that live finality. It's going to be so good. I'm so happy to see you in it. I know you're going to kick some ass. So thank you so much. And uh, go get that training done. I know you're on the way to a stretch session right now. So maintain that flexibility. We need to see something out of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.